Hello viewers, welcome to yet another episode of important previous year question discussion with solution for CSI and Net Life Sciences. Today's topic is from unit 1 where we discuss the numerical problems based on thermodynamics. Let's begin. The first question is from CSI and Net December 2016. They are asking that the standard free energy delta G0 per mole for the reaction A to B at 30 degree centigrade in an open system is minus 100 calorie per mole. Note that there is a negative sign and also note there is calorie per mole. What is the approximate free energy change? So delta G is the free energy change. Delta G0 is the standard free energy change. You are supposed to find out the free energy change when the concentration of A and B are given in 100 micromolar and 100 millimolar respectively. Micromolar, this is and this is millimolar. So you have to convert it into molar for putting into the equation. These are your options. So how, how are you going to solve this question? First thing is you are supposed to write down what are the given things. Here delta G0 is given. So delta G0 minus, it is given in minus 1000 calorie per mole. Nothing to change in here. Then R is the known gas constant. It is uh, since we have taken calorie per mole for standard free energy change. Gas constant also you are supposed to take in calorie. So in calorie it is 1.985 calorie per Kelvin per mole. Uh, units you have to mention properly. Temperature is given 30 degree. So you have to always convert into Kelvin. That's why temperature. So here 270 plus 30 it will be 303 Kelvin. Now this is the equation to calculate uh, the standard G0 that is delta G0 is equal to minus RT ln KQ. Okay. Uh, now if you substitute all these values over here now KQ is what KQ is the equilibrium constant and equilibrium constant is given by the formula product concentration at equilibrium divided by reactant concentration at equilibrium. Here product is B. Now what is the concentration of B? It is 100 millimolar. That means it is 100 into 10 to the power minus 3 molar. Okay. You can write it over here 10, 100 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by reactant. Reactant is A and A concentration is 100 micromolar. 100 micro, micromolar means 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 molar. Now, now that we have brought both in the same unit. 100, 100 gets cancelled, this, this gets cancelled, so 10 to the power minus 3. You can raise it to the numerator where it will become 10 to the power 3. Now this 10 to the power 3, you are supposed to put it in this particular equation. Substituting all these values in the equation, uh, we will have to take minus also. There is a minus, don't forget that. And uh, this is the gas constant and uh, the temperature 303. Ln ln can be written as 2.303 log okay ln is another way of writing 2.303 log and as i just said 10 to the power 3 now whenever you have log 10 to the power 3 you can write it as 3 log 10 and log 10 value is 1 so this entire thing cancels out to be 3 okay now if you just uh, round about uh, these values so this you can make it 2 this you can make it 300 this you can make it 2.5. So accordingly 2.5 into 2 is uh, 5 and 300 into 3 is 900. So roughly it will be 4500. If you calculate it properly then it will come to 4155 and there is a minus sign over here. So this is what we have got the uh, delta G value and uh, question is asking about the free energy change. So this is what uh, free energy change. So subtract from the free energy change. Minus 1000 was the standard free energy change. You have to subtract from here with the sign. So that's why the answer will come to 3155 which is closer to option 1. Option 1 is the right answer here. So this is uh, what we have the equation and KEQ as I mentioned it is concentration of product divided by concentration of the reactants at equilibrium. These are important units for gas constant. What is the value of gas constant in joule per mole dot Kelvin and calorie per mole dot Kelvin and also the units of free energy, enthalpy and entropy changes are also given. Okay. 
the relationship of celsius and kelvin are also there you are always supposed to convert into kelvin for calculation of this types next question is from uh, june 2017 question paper three electron acceptors x y and z have redox potential of plus 0.5 volt plus 0.05 volt and minus 0.1 volt respectively they have given a reaction so this is uh, where electrons are accepted by b b plus two proton and two uh, electrons so they will become bh2 and the standard reduction potential for this is uh, plus 0 0.05 volt so which of this electron acceptors are appropriate we know that for redox reaction if we have an oxidation reaction we, we should also have a redox redu reduction reaction as well okay so along with this one more reaction should be taking place where electrons will be lost see here electrons are accepted right so you need a equ equation where, where you need a reaction where electrons are lost so for example a it is getting converted to uh, C let's say and it is releasing two electrons and two protons okay so these two electrons and two protons are accepted by B so that is why it is asking out of these three so in case of A you have three components three candidates A Y Z which are having these this reduction potential so which out of this can be appropriate electron acceptor okay now for this equation they have given useful equation delta g0 is equal to minus n f e0 dash what is n it is the number of electrons which is transferred that is 2 f is faraday's constant as i showed you in the previous equation the constants faraday's constant is 96.5 kilojoule or you can say 96.480 joule per volt dot mole okay and uh, another thing is that if you remember the concepts of free energy if free energy is negative then that reaction is supposed to be a spontaneous reaction so you have delta g0 dashed if it is negative value that means the reaction will be favorable in that case the electron acceptors will be appropriate okay now note the relation of delta g0 and the reduction potential isn't it so this is negative which means that if delta g0 we want to be negative in order for the electron acceptors to be appropriate then our e0 dashed should be positive since this is a inversely proportional relation so if e0 dashed you want to be positive we know that whenever we have an oxidation re re reaction and in a reduction reaction that is a redox reaction so our standard potentials cell potentials the net standard potential will be a summation of the individual standard potential so if you have e0 dash 1 and if you have e0 dash 2 so net will be e0 dash 1 plus e0 dash 2 with their signs okay so we have the um, reduction which is gain of electron this is coming to plus 0 0.5 0 0.05 volt isn't it and net e0 dashed potential also we want it to be positive so which value should come here out of this three so that the net result will be positive so obviously if you use over here minus 0.1 isn't it if you use here minus 0.1 volt then since minus 0.1 is more than 0 0.05 so the net result will become minus 0 0.05 volt so in that case our del g0 dash will become positive and a positive free energy change is not favorable in that case the last one that is z it cannot serve as a electron acceptor it will not be appropriate okay whereas if you use the other two that is plus 0 0.5 uh, volt and plus 0 0.05 the net e0 dashed will also be positive if we, even if you use uh, y which is also having a positive value with this positive value it will lead to positive only so that's why both of this x and y can be electron acceptors so that's why the correct answer over here is option one okay 
uh, here is the explanation as I have given it's a simple uh, concept so considering x the net e0 dashed will be the existing e0 dashed which is plus 0 0.05 plus the excess e0 dashed which is giving a positive value in y also you will get a positive value but in case of z you will get a negative value so that is why this is not preferred you don't have to put in this equation delta g0 entire thing because they have calculated separately for x it is coming to minus 38 kilojoule for y it is minus 9 19 kilojoule but for z it is coming to plus 183 kilojoule which is not a favored reaction that is why Z is not favored. Okay. Another question is from December 2016. So this is uh, looking like a numerical question, but it is not. It is a theoretical question with the same concept that we have used. However, the equation is different, not related with the Faraday's constant. But this is with relation of free energy and free, uh, equilibrium constant, KEQ. Here also you have a negative sign which means delta G0 dashed and K equilibrium they are inversely proportional. Okay, So reaction uh, A and B they have given reaction A and re uh, reaction B they have two different KEQ values. For one it is 10 another one it is 100. Okay, So they are asking which of the following statements will be correct. So the statements are for the relation of delta G0 dashed of A and uh, g0 dashed of b which is more a is more or b is more they have asked the question so what you will do here is uh, for a if you consider um, you have to you're supposed to find out the delta g0 dashed which is minus rt ln now here you will be taking 10 right and as i just said 10 ln will be log of uh, 2.303 log of 10 and r you can take you cannot take uh, anything is fine but whatever it is you will be getting uh, this as 8.3 and uh, temperature they have not mentioned so you can take the room temperature which is uh, 293 okay so if you calculate this entire thing now see all these are positive values and this is negative which means the delta G0 dashed you can expect to be positive. Okay. Now since this is log 10, log 10 becomes 1. So uh, uh, some, uh, multiplication of all these 3, it will lead somewhere around minus 5000. Okay. And if you take the, take for B, the delta G0 dashed, it's the same thing minus 8.3 into 293 into 2.3. But it will be log 100. Now log 100 will be value will be 2. That means this entire thing will be multiplied by 2. So somewhere around minus uh, 10,000 will be the value for here. So we, out of this which is a higher value. 5000 is a higher value because it is minus. Minus 5000 is a higher value. Isn't it? So the positive value of delta G will also be higher. Got it? And since minus the 10,000 is a lower value, so delta G0 will be in positive, but the positive value will be a lesser positive value compared to A. That is why delta G0 dashed of A will be more than the delta G0 dashed of B. Okay? Then another question is from uh, CSI net December 2018. DNA melting temperature was found to be 47 degree and enthalpy measured at Tm was 0 0.032 kilojoule. What will be the entropy change? So for this you have to know a, a, an equation which is the Van Toff's equation. The entropy change represented by delta S is equal to delta H which is the enthalpy divided by the melting temperature. So here melting temperature is 47 degree but you have to convert it into Kelvin by adding 273. So it will be 320 Kelvin and delta H you have to bring it to the from kilojoule you have to make it into uh, joules. Okay. So if you have if you convert it 0 0.302 you can convert it but here since the other unit is in Kelvin you can leave it as it is just that your delta S will also be expressed in kilojoules. So 0 0.032 divided by 320 is equal to 10 to the power minus 4. So you will get 0 0.0001 which if you round it up it will come to 10 to the power minus 4. 
so i hope this uh, these problems were helpful for you to understand the concept practice more questions to be able to accurately answer during the exam thank you everyone